Hi, today we're going to explore various ways that you can split bills or finalise tables or accept prepayments in Amicus, our point of sale system for restaurants, bars, cafes, nightclubs, etc. Alright, in this particular scenario, I'm just going to go ahead and receipt the whole thing. This is pretty easy. All I need to do is just hit receipt all items. Now I can choose my payment method. In this case I'm going to tender some cash. So I'm going to go cash $160, which is more than my sale amount finalised. That's it for that table. What if I wanted to pay for particular items? Like I had a customer who said, look, I'm just going to pay for the cheeseburger and the pizza. Where you could just go click, click, select the two items, hit receipt, and go selected items. You get the cheeseburger, you get the pizza, plus the modifiers they had. Okay, we're just going to tend to $50 there, that's that. Another example. What if your customer would like to just pay an arbitrary amount towards the bill. So, say for example, customer three is leaving, they think their bill is probably 35 bucks, but just because they're nice people, they just said, look, here's, 40, here's $50, just accept that off the bill, please. Well, that's easy. You just go prepay, $50. And this will make a prepayment on the bill. It won't actually allocate it to specific items, it will just pay it off the total. So we go through here, prepay, fifty dollars on the on the amount, ten to fifty bucks. There we go, all done. Customer gets a receipt for that. If we go back into that table, we'll see here that there are prepayments of fifty dollars ba balance owing sixty eight fifty. We total these up, that's one hundred and eighteen fifty minus the fifty equals sixty eight fifty. Now when the rest of the diners are ready to pay up say one other diner says, look, I'm just going to grab the rest, you just go receipt, and you finalise the lot. And you'll get all the items in the bill, but you'll also get, where is it? It's a long bill. There it is. Free payment, $50. Notice that's a negative value, so that's coming off the total. Okay, we owe 68.50, so I'm just going to tender $100, and that's that. All right, one more example. I've got four diners here. These diners have decided they're just going to go ahead and split the bill evenly. One person's come up and said, I'm going to pay for two people. Okay, how do we do that? Well, we just go receipt. We're going to pay for diners. Oop, sorry, wrong example. Receipt, prepay, pay for two out of four diners equals 59.25. That's the total sale amount divided by four times two. Okay, we're going to process that. Oop, try that again. If we go back in here now we'll see that there's a prepayment of 59.25 owing, balance 59.25 owing. And of course same as the last one, you can just finalise that off and you'll get this, where is it, prepayment item for the 59.25. Let's clear that one off. Alright, let's have a look at another example. Four diners again, but this time instead of saying, I will pay for two out of four diners, what if they come up and say, look, I just want to pay for me and my friend Charlie. Well, what diners were you, sir? I was on the left, and he was the next one around. So that makes you diner one and two. All right. We can receipt diners. Let's say, diner one, there's the three things you had. Diner two, there's the other things that you had. They're the things that we're going to pay off here. Receipt, seventy-one fifty for the two of you, sir. Thank you very much. All done. So, as you can see, there are lots and lots of ways that you can quickly finalise your bill in Amicus and process your orders quickly. You can finalise, you can choose selected items, you can prepay an amount, you can prepay a portion.
portion of the bill, you can pay off the items allocated to a diner, pretty much anything you like. Quick, easy, flexible. Thanks for listening.